So the other day I was texting with my friend and we were talking about how we both wanted to get an overhead rig so we could do some tabletop filming bird's eye view style. And I was looking online and he was looking online and rigs were ranging from anywhere from like $300 to $1,000. I thought, man, I just cannot justify another 500 bucks, another 600 bucks. I mean, gear companies just hustle us so much. So I decided to look through my junk room, mic stands, cymbal stands, guitar stands, old monopods, old tripods. And I thought, you know what? I could probably hack something and get decent results. So voila, the DIY overhead rig. This is a ride cymbal stand. This is my drummers. Dylan, if you're listening, man, you gotta pick up your drums, dude. They've been here for years. So I had an old monopod that I don't use anymore. It was a Manfrotto monopod, it was a great monopod. But it was one of those skinny ones with just a stick. And I kind of outgrew it and I bought a really good heavy duty monopod. And I still have this, which is a great small little head. It's got a quarter 20 point on it, a quick release plate. Dylan, I hope you don't mind. This would make a formidable weapon, by the way. But today, it'll be an overhead rig. So, as you can see, the base of this is really, really, really seriously big, strong. Doesn't really need any weight. And that's kind of why I went with this over like a mic stand or something like that. Also, check this out. This is quarter 20, which fits this. So I put this on here, tightened it up, fixed the camera to this, put it on the tabletop and go for it. Some dragonflies making love, it bird calls in the dark. It unrolls through the waterfalls, forever we are young. I wonder why we here, dreaming of life beyond the stars. It all just makes me realize that I'm feeling alive. It hits me so suddenly. Sun and sky gives me the lovely feeling. But I don't know yet I'm in paradise Lost in fantasy Tasty coconut and lemongrass as a world on the tip of your tongue. This video isn't necessarily about exactly how to make an overhead rig. It's more a philosophy, an approach, kind of like a mindset that, you know, when we accumulate gear and we outgrow the gear, instead of just buying new gear, maybe get a little bit industrious, save a little bit of money, repurpose something, save the environment, and feel good about yourself knowing that you can sort of Stick it to the man, in a sense. It hits me so suddenly. Sun and sky. We don't really need gear all the time. If you want an overhead rig to get great results, I'm sure we could build something. So, we have a usable overhead rig. It's more that sort of philosophy, that approach to being industrious looking through your junk drawers and I don't know about you guys but I get really excited when I start tinkering and fitting things together and go ah oh, I could do this this could work I wanted to do an assemblage or an assemblage and when I was going through the garage rooting through junk drawers I found some of my dad's old stuff old cameras old cigar tins some neat stuff and I thought oh, okay well let's do a flat lay and experiment a little bit with this bird's eye view approach and you know what the results are pretty cool. I like it. Tasty 
whole corn out of lemongrass. I guess the takeaway for this video isn't so much here's how you build something, but here's the mindset that maybe you can switch on. It's more about being industrious, about saving some money, about not being so much of a consumer and realizing that in the old days we had to repurpose things and upcycle things and use things for different purposes and find different ways to get results that we wanted because you just couldn't go on Amazon and order something. And this is like, dude, that's a ride cymbal stand. It's been sitting in my garage, Dylan, for years and um, he's not playing the drums anymore and I'm not using it so why not put it to use? I like repurposing things and I like upcycling things and I like saving the environment a little bit and I like saying no to consumerism when I can. Not that I'm trying to be all preachy or anything like that but you know just open your drawers, go through your stuff. Most of you guys probably have enough old gear that you can repurpose it for something different instead of going out and buying something brand new. So thanks for joining me guys. The DIY camera gig philosophical upcycled approach. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah, be good to yourselves and each other. I'll see you later. Ah, the overhead rig.